John Allen Mohammed and Lee Boyd Malvo's three-week killing spree in Maryland, D.C. and Virginia paralyzed the region and captivated a nation still raw from 9-11. It's like I didn't exist anymore. Now, 11 years later, a new movie starring Isaiah Washington seeks to explore the roots of that terror and the relationship between Mohammed and the 17-year-old. We've we made an extraordinary film that depicts uh, how humanity can go wrong. We'll take it. You got big plans for the old gal? The film is called Blue Caprice, after the car used by the snipers who killed 10 people and injured three others. I was intrigued by how did he get to the other side? You know, how, 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 do, how do you do that? How do you break all the rules? How do you cross all these lines? It's not an easy sell for audiences, but Washington says he's okay with that. For something that's so powerful, so memorable, now that it's been brought back up, and how we're still dealing with the bombings and, and Sandy Hook and all these issues is, let's see what the people have to say about this film when they come out, if they choose to say anything. Because I know when I first saw it, I was speechless. Despite the horror of the events that inspired it, the film is more psychological than graphic, focusing primarily on the toxic father-son relationship that developed. And that's what we put in the film, is that someone was looking for some kind of leadership, love and respect, and they got all the wrong, they picked the wrong person. Malvo is serving a life sentence for his role in the sniper attacks. Mohammed was executed by lethal injection in November of 2009. Time of death, 9-11 p.m. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.